basically the inlet manifold's got a vacuum leak from where it meets the cylinder head, so uh, it's got to come back off again. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yet again, you're here to stare at my rather sexual looking face. Um, it's actually a work day today, just having me dinner, just for a bit of context for you. Today, we're just going to do a quick video on the inlet manifold. Now, if you watched our Alton Park vlog, if you didn't, why? So, if you watched the Alton Park vlog, you'll know that we blew the welds on the intake, we split the intake wide open. <laughs> We have gone full danger to Manifold and we've got Donington Park in two weeks and I don't want that to happen again. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the inlet Manifold off the engine, we're going to take it over to our fabrication bank and then we're going to look at what we can do to prevent that happening going forward. We've already got a plan for a new inlet Manifold. That'll be a bit of a, a secret between me and uh, Ilya, Rusky Weldfab. So yeah, we're going to take Manifold off and then we'll get on the bench and have a look for it. So uh, let's get on with that. So that's the inlet manifold off and it's uh, looking pretty good actually. I can't really see any sort of uh, any sort of points where it may be failing prematurely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously we're gonna re-weld this part of the, the plans of the flange all the way around again. Uh, and then we're gonna cut some diamond shaped fish plates and then we'll strategically put them in places just to sort of tie all of the joints together to sort of prevent the uh, plenum from splitting open again. And then we'll probably just put a couple of fish plates with a, a little fold on it just to sort of tie uh, the plenum into the bottom of the base plate here just so We've got a bit of extra, extra strength now. It's not going to look overly pretty, but at this point, we want to make sure that the car, you know, we want to make sure this part doesn't let us down again um, at Donington. So, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, do these uh, minor repairs and then uh, put it back on the car. go that's one strengthened inlet manifold now i've probably gone a bit overboard with these strengthening tabs but obviously i don't want it to break again not this season anyway because we are planning to do another inlet manifold for next year so now we've got this done back on the car uh, and make sure the car runs and we've got no fuel leaks so uh, yeah another time lapse for you So it's back running again, but not without issue. Uh, we've had it idling now for about 10, 15 minutes, trying to put some charge back in the battery. And then the idle sat at about 1700 RPM. Um, so straight away, uh, screams vacuum leak. Um, but yeah, so basically the inlet manifold's got a vacuum leak from where it meets the cylinder head. So uh, it's got to come back off again. Um, so we can uh, reseal it. Now, me being an idiot, I have reused the old gasket. Now, it is a steel type gasket. I think I've got a spare one over here somewhere. It uses a steel type crush gasket, which I wasn't really keen on to begin with when we first fitted it um, all them months ago. So I think what I'll do is probably take it off um, and just replace it with some, in favor of some RTV. 
So yeah, um, I'm not going to film that. Basically, in the next clip, it's going to be running properly again. So second time the charm and as you just seen in that little clip just then uh, we're golden we've got no vacuum leaks now now my own fault for reusing the old gasket but we've all done it many times before I'm rushing to get this car back together as quick as possible uh, but lesson learned so new gasket and I've put a, a, a smear of RTV gasket seam on there just to make sure I've not got to do it a third time now it only took us 25 minutes to take it back off and back on and um, so really fortunate in that so let's talk about the elephant in the room and that is so i find that when we do these things with the cars it's important to, to show you um as the viewer what goes wrong too many people are obsessed with only showing you the success side of things uh, but it's also important to show people that you're only human and you do fuck up now and then yes it's probably failed because of the material difference of you know we're welding 1.6 mil water to a 6 mil plate um, and it is difficult to get the heat transferred over evenly into that but again we've got a plan for another inlet manifold uh, next season for side fab jumps in no it's not a um a dual plan but we do have something in mind for next season uh, providing all's good for the rest of this season so there we are, that's um, modifying, repairing, and making the inlet manifold stronger, ready for Donny. So we should be able to get back up to them boost levels, 19 to 20 PSI, um, and we should be able to start giving the top guys in the class a run for the money. Um, especially as well, we can stop. Um, obviously, I'm not sure what the order these videos are coming out in, uh, but there's a whole separate video on the brakes. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Uh, if you're still here, thank you. And I hate to say it because I think it's really cringy, uh, but don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, really I'm trying to push some um, traffic into the channel. The more traffic we get, the more views we get, the potential ad revenue we get, which means the more shit we can do to all the cars, which means more content for you to watch. So it's free for you to do at the end of the day. Um, so just, just give us a like. Just drop any comment down below, anything, even if it's just like sick cunt, yeah, that'll do. Uh, but yeah, enough of that bullshit. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video very soon.